I've been wanting to do this video for a long time, and I've really just been trying to figure out what aspect of black magic and the camera gear I use would be interesting use case for going to Fiverr and paying someone else to do it. And in my case, color correction and color grading to me sounds like the best thing to go and try to find someone else to do. I don't know about you, I absolutely hate color correction and color grading. Now, hate's a strong word, but I always find myself wanting to just post it when I'm already done filming everything and putting everything together and uh, have my story built out. And honestly, the last thing I'm gonna have to deal with after a long video production is have to color correct and then make sure every little detail is perfect. I still do it, but you know, it would be nice to find someone else to do it. So that's why I thought, why not turn to Fiverr to see what magic they can do? Before we get started with this video, I want to invite you to be part of the Frame Voyager community. We love telling stories, talking about camera gear, and going on adventures, and love to bring viewers like you along on our adventures and journeys and help you to find your story through video and storytelling. So be sure to subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all of our latest content. Now let's get back to the video. Today I'm going to test out and see if there are any good colorists on Fiverr that could do a decent job for a video here or there if I needed it. So I'm gonna test from lowest end $5 to highest end $100 for a 30 second clip and see with five different colorists who can do the best. So let's jump in and uh, look, take a look on Fiverr and see what we can find. So I'm just gonna look up color grading. The video I'm giving them is a 30 second clip or a 30 second montage of footage that I've taken from ranging from underwater footage to tricky shots and tricky exposure settings that'll go across. And I'm interested to see, number one, consistency across all of, all of the clips, especially since they're all different, all set of different white balances. There are some Gen 4 color science clips in there. There are some Gen 5 color science clips in there. So it's gonna be interesting to see how well the different levels kind of do. All right, so we're gonna set the first budget for maximum $5. Ooh, and this guy right here. Okay, so basic, but he does actually, for five bucks, he does a minute video, basic video editing, color correction, color grading, transitions, and he adds a logo. Dang. Add that in. So this one's $5. And I'm gonna go ahead and let them go with whatever kind of style they wanna go with. So I'm not gonna try to dictate what it looks like. I'm just asking them to do what you would do and make it the best you think it would look. Start order. Okay. One done. Four more to find. Let's look at ten dollar. Look, let's look at the ten dollar range and see what's in the ten dollar range. Dang, this dude will do pro video color correction and grading within 12 hours. Dang. From boring to wow. I, I mean, sweet. Color bouncing, color grading, up to one minute minute of footage provided. Okay, sweet. Um, 10 bucks, 12 hours. I'll <laughs> come back tomorrow. We're gonna have to come back tomorrow and review all these. It seems like everyone does them pretty quickly. So we're gonna go ahead and move up next to $25. So let's see what we can find on here. <sighs> okay, here's someone. Sweet, this guy will color grade for 20 bucks. So below our $25 budget. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go with this one. Okay, this guy's stuff actually looks pretty legit. Color, color correcting and color grading each individual part of a scene. So if, mm, He'll do this for 60 bucks. So this is gonna be my $50 guy. Um, and I'm fine paying an extra 60 bucks to get that um, color grading from him. Sweet, looking forward to uh, seeing what this one looks like. Okay, what can I get for a hundred bucks? Okay, this guy is a Fiverr Pro verified service. So it looks like what he's doing is he's taking things and making it look um, to a cinematic look, which will be interesting to see what he can take this and uh, turn it into. Hmm. So he's asking for this one for an image to show what I would like the end result to be. I would say, so I guess we got to pick a movie for this one to go off of. Um, I'm saying, I'm thinking Interstellar. I love Interstellar. All right, so we'll come back in about a week and see how they edit it. So let's go. And we're back. <laughs> this took a little bit longer than I expected. There were some issues I did not expect when giving people these files. I'm really interested to get into this and see um, from $5 to $100. Is there anyone that's good at color correction and grading in Fiverr? We'll start with a $5 color grade. So this is what we got. All right, here we go.
<laughs> For all of you who don't know, that is actually my natural skin tone. Um, is that nice, bright orange uh, color? Just uh, how it here, I have a lot of makeup on, it hides that nice bright orange tint. So uh, it's actually what I really look like. <laughs> Man, okay, let me just keep going. Okay. Okay, I mean, I mean, look, this is five bucks. So uh, it looks the first one, I will admit the first one is a little tricky. But uh, yeah, this obviously the skin tones are way off. And I think it's just too dark in general here, which is odd because if you see like my skin tones, like as it goes down towards my neck, um, it actually starts looking a little bit more normal, but yeah, it's way too orange. It almost looks like if there was like, just like a lot thrown on this and nothing was like balanced correctly. This next image though, I mean, that's, I don't mind that. Um, it looks, I mean, it looks decent. It looks better than the, um, <laughs> the first shot does. So second shot, Totally fine with that one. I like how that looks. And honestly, this one is an interesting one to grade because of all the, there's so much going on in it and how dark it is. In this, I think you're gonna see a common theme when you can see people's skin tones. You could see just too much reds and too much orange. This shot looks better though. It's not as bad. Um, and I do like how, um, I do like the blue um, color of this too for the underwater footage because it really is that that water is like that blue it's pretty crazy and this one I would say I would say this fairly matches now it is it's gonna a little tricky to match the two of these because this is a little bit darker this is when I was pointing um, when my friend was pointing the camera kind of like up towards the surface and a lot of light coming down so it's gonna affect those hues and it's hard to kind of do that underwater Going to this next shot, again, I think you start seeing some of the um, the problems. You have a lot of um, um, magenta right there on that arm. This shot to me looks really good um, for the most part. And now I'm kind of, I'm again, I'm basing this off of it being a $5 grade. That looks good. Again, you see some of the problems, the reds and the um, oranges in the face. And then of course this scene, Looks fine. I think it's kind of hard to mess this this one up because it's fireworks, so. <laughs> okay, that was a $5 grade. For this $5 one, I'm gonna give him a three, mostly because he did get a couple of the shots right. Um, and again, considering that it was a $5 color gr grade and correction, it's not terrible. The bad thing is the skin tones, I think is what really like made this bad, but um, three out of 10. Moving on, let's look at the $10 grade. So I'll just stop it right here. Right off the bat, you can already tell the difference. It's it's lit better and um, it, the skin tones look <laughs> so much better. Actually, I'll put a side-by-side -side of these two to just compare what the $5 or the $10 looks like. This looks way better when it comes to skin tones. I think this one's corrected well. Um, I think the balance between the two looks right, like it doesn't feel wrong. This shot in the water definitely overexposed a lot of the highlights needed to come down because it's a lot of it's very washed out. But I get it because you go it is a little bit of a tricky shot because it goes down into the water below and it's um, and then it gets dark. So I, I get it. It was a hard shot to film because of that reason. But I think there's some things you could do to just lessen it because I think you got enough light in the water. All right. So I'm noticing. Um, I think he did, I think the $5 one did a little bit better when it came to matching the color of the water from each, cause this is in the same location. Um, this very vibrant, very like aqua blue kind of looking. And then you go to this, which is very like desaturated, which I know there's a lot of light coming down into it, but the mat, the water color doesn't even look the same or even close to the same hue of blue. But all in all, I mean, yeah. Oh, that is magenta. 
Look at the skin tones and the magentas on the skin tones. <laughs> I will say, I think he made that, uh, I do like how that, um, I think the sun or the flare here is definitely more pronounced in this one. I just don't think everything looks, it's so magenta. Like this shot, I think it's a little bright in my, for my preferences, I would have brought it down. I like things a little bit, a little bit moodier maybe. I don't know this, but this looks great. This one looks fine. So he, the skin tones here way better than the $5 one, but you can see the magentas in this. It just wasn't um, white balanced correctly in a couple of these shots. And this one looks fine. So, uh, uh, this one was definitely better than the $5 one for sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a, I'll give a four out of 10. We'll kind of move up that way. Um, <laughs> that's all I can say. So let's move on to our $25 color grade color correction. All right, so right off the bat, don't mind the it being this dark. I wish it was a little less flat um, and maybe a little more contrasty. But again here, skin tone's correct. I feel like the brightness, you could tweak it a little bit to make it feel like a little less dim. But overall, I think the color, the grade here is fine. Um, Not bad. Um, and this, I would just slightly more contrast, but I do like, I will say he is matching. He's definitely matching tone across it. It feels very same between those three shots all of, out of all of them so far as this has felt the best. I would say eh, pretty close on the colors for the water. Way better. Okay, this is way better. You could just tell like, That's nice. Finally, okay, someone finally got this shot right. Okay, you know what? Um, on grading on consistency, this feels similar. Every shot feels like they belong together. And that's really, I think, something hard to do with this. Um, but he managed to get it kind of the same feel across the entire board. Um, so for that, I'm gonna give him Let's go for a six out of 10. I think that feel, they could feel good with that. Um, but again, let me know in the comments below which you would grade this out of a one out of 10. But for $25, the consistency across it, it's not bad, it's not bad. Now we're starting to move into the more expensive ones where I will be getting a little bit more critical on stuff. All right, let's take a look at this. Like this, I think it's, it's, it's nice and warm. Um, I think the skin tones look Okay. Like that shot. I like this shot. Um, that jacket, I, ooh, and I like this. This feels like it was actually like a little bit more color to it than the others. I think I like this jacket shot in particular because I feel like, I don't know with the rest of them, I feel like he really stands out of the background a little bit more in this one. Um, and I'm not sure why that is. Maybe there's a mask put around him and then just some color added to it. I definitely like that shot a lot better. In some of these, I think some of the shots were like nailed. Like I liked the color correction, color grading on some of them. Um, really probably better than I have like any of the other ones. Um, I don't know what it is about this shot, but I think it doesn't work with this shot before it. Um, it feels very purple. Those are, again, I don't, I, I can't really fault them for like having two different shades of water with these situations because of the different lighting conditions. I do think that these match up pretty well. There are a couple things I think I would tweak on this, um, but past that, it's not bad. I'm pretty sure a lot of these um, people said I could go back and ask them to tweak a couple of things if I wanted to. And I just kind of want to see what the first color correction was just right off of the bat for it. So it wasn't perfect. Um, this one, I might go back and get him to change this color just a little bit, just to bring back some of those, maybe some of the, um, this one right here, some of the blues maybe. 
Like I like it. And maybe it's just me being picky on it, but I, it looks it looks okay. I'm fine with this shot. This one I would I would definitely pull back that blue color and make it either like desaturate it a little bit or um uh darken it maybe. I think I like that one the best out of it, and that looks fine. So I would give this probably a six out of ten. I would say like it it did what it needed to. There's some adjustments that I think would need to happen. I think there's a little bit of issues with consistency across the board with some between some of the clips, but overall I would say it's not bad. Um, and if I feel like it, I feel like with this person in particular that I worked with, I could go back with him and get this higher um, a higher rating um, if I had worked through some of this with him. So, all right. On to the final one, the $100 color grade on B raw footage. All right, so this guy, and I will say this before, he um, went and made this look. I think we had put like Interstellar or something in because he asked for a reference because he wanted, it was like this one was specifically make it look like a movie. We tried the Interstellar one and he didn't think it worked very well with things. I agreed with him. So we tried to do like, told him, do your own thing, color correct it, you know, balance it, make sure the shots look the same. But if you need something, I think I gave him the Revenant as like a color palette to choose from. So I'm kind of going to grade that off of this. I like this first shot. I do kind of like the color. Don't like this color for this shot that much. That's not bad. Okay, I think this is the first one where I really have felt like the colors match pretty well. I think he crushed the blacks a lot because you can see down here in like the stomach area um, that it starts distorting. And I think this is probably one I could work on again with him to fix it, but I like how this looks. I like th this is probably my favorite color um, grade of this particular footage. I just think you'd have to fix some of the, how dark it gets in certain areas, but I like how this looks. Yeah. Ooh. I think some of the colors were just pushed too hard on it. I will say this really feels like, dang, this really feels like someone just put a lot on it, I think. Even if like I was to say like, okay, I had given him a specific movie to look at with the color, um, a color palette based off of a movie and some of the shots I'm sure don't really work with it. I have problems when it comes to a lot of, uh, there's a lot of um, um, balance issues with the video when it comes to, into the highlights and the shadows and the blacks of this, where things are just clipping when they don't really need to and distorting. So, which gives the effect of looking like it's just a, a LUT that was applied to this. Um, where some of the other ones looked a little bit cleaner, I would say. The one that had kind of like made, I think, had gotten really close to a good look was the um, $60 one where I felt like there was some more attention to the details in it. Um, but the $100 one, yeah, no. So I, I, in this, I would say the winner would be, if you want to add a winner to this, uh, I think it's a tie between the $25 and the $60 project. I just think between them, they had the best consistency color wise. Yeah, so the prize goes to the $60 and the $25 one. And uh, let me know in the comments below which you thought was better. And if you think I missed anything or said something wrong technically, I'm totally fine to talk about it. I would love to hear from you guys as I am not really a professional colorist, but let me know in the comments below what you think about this. But interesting experiment. And uh, maybe we'll try this again and see if we can actually finally find someone that could get a 10 out of 10. That would make me change my whole viewpoint on getting a colorist from Fiverr. But that's all for this video. Until next time, this is John Owens with Frame Voyager.